everyone, Princess Sarissa here. As a rescue rat myself, I know how important rescues are in ensuring that all animals get nice, loving homes. That's why, for the Final Fantasy IV Job Fiesta, I will be playing for Rabbit and Small Animal Rescue. So if you're entertained by my Let's Play of this game, feel free to contribute even if it's something tiny like a dollar to the rabbit and small animal rescue I will have a link in the video description so on with the show take care and I hope you enjoy bye hey everyone Princess Sarissa here and once again I'll be playing Final Fantasy 5 for the four job fiesta what the four job fiesta is is uh, it's kind of a charity event and basically uh, you, it raises money for you know different charities, and uh, it raises money by forcing you to play the game with restrictions. Normally, the game has uh, 22 different jobs, including your initial job, the freelancer job, and a hidden job, the mine job. These jobs basically make the game really easy. In fact, there's guides out on the internet basically saying that how you can beat the game without basically getting any levels, just using the abilities that you get from. Um, the different job classes that you get. So in order to add some challenge and some replayability and some entertainment to the game, every year uh, this Four Job Fiesta comes out. And basically it encourages people to basically replay the game uh, but with restrictions. Uh, so rather than being able to use all the jobs, uh, you're limited to four jobs. So, uh, I'm just playing a, a normal type of run. There's different types of runs you can do, but uh, I'm just going with the standard run where uh, you get uh, one job from the wind crystal, one job from the water crystal, one job from the fire crystal, and then one job from the earth crystal. And uh, you have to have uh, one character uh, in those jobs at all times once they're unlocked. You can use uh, sub abilities from the other jobs you unlocked, but you can't use any uh, sub abilities or jobs that you're not assigned or given. So, and then if you don't like a job and you can't finish the game or it's too hard, uh, you can always like uh, pay. That's how the uh, another way the charity raises money. Uh, you can pay the kind of charity organizer uh, to uh, basically re-roll uh, one of your jobs and maybe get another job that uh, makes it a little easier for you or not. So, but that's basically uh, the basic rundown. Uh, of the fiesta. Now I'm not doing it uh, for the regular fiesta uh, because I uh, I did the regular fiesta last year. I played for uh, Healing Whiskers, but I wanted to be able to experience all the different uh, jobs. And if I get assigned jobs randomly, uh, well, I may get the same jobs that I played with last year. So what I did is you can look at my YouTube video. Uh, the bonus episode I did last year where I kind of just uh, put the jobs that I wasn't assigned last year into a hat, picked them out, and that's how I came up with um, the remaining um, Fiesta jobs that I uh, plan on doing. So, uh, yeah, I got four more Fiestas to go. So this is the uh, first one that I'll be doing, and uh, I'll be playing this year, uh, This at least this playthrough, will be for Rabbit and Small Animal Rescue. And my jobs that I have uh, to work with in this time are from the uh, Wind Crystal, the Monk, from the Water Crystal, the Summoner Job, from the Fire Crystal, the Ninja, and then finally from the Earth Crystal, the Dragoon. So I think I got a decent uh, mix of classes here. Don't have many uh, uh, magic based classes. The Summoner is the only magic based class that I have, which might make one part of the uh, game difficult where you have to split your party up and two physical fighters go in one direction, two magic fighters have to go in the other. So that might be a kind of a difficult uh, part, but otherwise, uh, here's hoping that uh, I can get through the game. And uh, I'll be posting my progress uh, every day, giving my thoughts. And in addition to giving my thoughts, uh, I'll also be giving out uh, tips and hints. Um, like last year, um, I'll be going for 100% treasure completion, which means that I will try to get every single uh, treasure chest in the game. 
uh, I'll also see if I can defeat the two optional super bosses, uh, the Omega Robot and the Shinrayu Dragon. So, uh, best wishes to uh, to me, and uh, best wishes to all the rescue workers uh, out in uh, Lavin and Small Animals Rescue. Because even though our characters here in the game will be uh, saving this uh, world here in uh, Final Fantasy V, uh, those uh, rescuers out with uh, Rabbit and Small Animal Rescue, uh, they're doing great work uh, every day out in the real world, uh, saving uh, animals who are uh, abused, neglected, and uh, who basically need homes. So uh, we definitely need more people like that, and uh, they can always use your support. So if you're entertained by any of these videos, uh, feel free to uh, donate to them. Uh, it kind of has a price of... Uh, you know, for the entertainment. Think of it as like sign up for a streaming, uh, for a streaming site. So, well, here's our first battle here uh, against these goblins. They're uh, pretty easy. They're gonna fall down in one hit. I have their stats, and I'll be doing this for all the enemies. I'll be listing their stats, their levels, and uh, what they can uh, potentially drop, uh, and items that they get can be stolen from them. Uh, not all enemies have uh, drops. Uh, and some enemies also have weaknesses, but I'll be uh, listing all of them. So now, uh, in honor of Rabbit and Small Animals Rescues, uh, just like I did last year, I'm going to name the hero uh, after the charity that I'm playing for. So last year I played for Healing Whiskers, so I named the character Whiskers. So uh, I talked to the people at Ra Rabbit and Small Animals Rescues, and they said to name the character, the main character, Rasser, Rabbit and Small Animal rescue. So that'll be the name of our uh, main hero here. He's the uh, only character we get to name. Uh, Story-wise, uh, he's basically a wanderer. Uh, he just rides around, uh, explores the world, and uh, he was out exploring, and this meteor, which is right to the north there, uh, crashed down. So he went to investigate it. And while he was there, he ran into this lady, Lena. Lena was the lady we saw way back at the beginning of the game. Uh, her father is uh, the king, and uh, he went off to investigate. Uh, the wind apparently is slowing down for some reason. Now, in this game, uh, in this world, uh, basic elements are controlled by crystals. So there's a wind crystal, a water crystal, a fire crystal, and an earth crystal. And they all like uh, affect the different uh, elements that they... Uh, Represent. So, for instance, the wind crystal uh, that helps the wind flow. The water crystal helps purify water. Earth crystal makes the soil uh, grow. And then fire, of course, you know, warm stuff. So, there's our first hidden treasure. Uh, if you have a thief, well, we don't have that job. Uh, they have a pa an ability called secret passages where you can see secret passages like that. We don't have a thief, obviously, because we can't, we want to sign that job in this playthrough, but. That's okay if you follow along with this. You'll be able to uh, see all the secret passages because I'll be pointing them out and showing you where to get those treasures. So he ran into this old man. Um, he don't remember who he is. Well, now he does. He remembers his name is Gallif, but that's all he knows. He doesn't know what he's doing. But uh, for some reason, he has a feeling that, uh, like Lena, he needs to get to the Wind Shrine. So. So yep, yeah, so I'll be, uh, if you're uh, summarizing the events as they happen, so, I'm trying something a little different this year, like last year I, I kind of read the text, uh, this year I'll let y'all uh, read the text, you can slow down if you need to or pause it, uh, but I'll just be adding add my, uh, my commentaries and kind of summarizing things as that happen. So. And now, um, Rasser, though, uh, he decides, well, he's not going to accompany these two to the Wind Crystal. He's going to keep doing his little wander and hanging out with his little Chocobo. Uh, Chocobo, for those who aren't familiar with the series Final Fantasy, uh, they're kind of like uh, a cross between a big chicken and a horse. And they were like a big chicken, they're, you know, two-legged animals. But they function as basically horses in the, in the world. Uh, people ride them. Uh, in some games, they're used as... Uh, like cavalry, where knights will ride them uh, in the battle. But for the most part, uh, in our games, we'll just be uh, you know riding them around the world. And one good thing about riding chocobos around the world 
is uh, when you ride a uh, chocobo, you don't get into random encounters. Now, uh, we don't have to worry about random encounters yet. Uh, right now, these first uh, few fights uh, that we're going to run into here in this little chasm are like the fight over in uh, where we rescued Lena there. Uh, they're scripted battles, which means that uh, you're guaranteed to run into them. Random encounters, though, uh, they're not scripted. They uh, just pop up whenever. As you're walking around in the game, basically there's a number uh, in the game, uh, and it basically decreases with uh, each step. And they see when it hits, like, zero, uh, the counter says, okay, we can, uh, you'll get into a, an encounter. So, you know, sometimes you might walk a whole bunch of steps, Sometimes you might walk one step and get an encounter. It all depends on, I guess, you know, luck of the draw. So we just have, I edited out those battles just for saving some time, but we got into two more force battles with the goblins. So they're easy. Um, our hero, Rasser, is strong enough that he can take them down in one hit. And uh, they don't do a lot of damage between maybe two and four points of damage, which means that it'll take, uh, basically, at the bare, minim at the, uh, bare minimum, uh, nine hits to take down Rasser because he has uh, 36 hit points to start out. So, and he outspeeds the goblins uh, basically like uh, two to one. So uh, he might be able to defeat the both of them before they even get one attack off. So, so here uh, Rasser decided, you know, he's gonna. He realized there's a lot of goblins in this passageway, so he decided, well, I'm gonna go on, uh, you know, link back up with uh, Princess Lena and the old man Gallif. So, and they're going to join our party. So, we will have our second and third party members. So, and uh, before the end of the episode, we'll also get our fourth party member. Um, there are five party members in total that you'll get in the game. Um, although one just replaces uh, another one uh, and inherits all uh, that party member's abilities, so it's just basically a palette swap. Uh, nothing really changes. Some of the stats, minor stats, will change. So Now, each of the characters has uh, different stats. Uh, for instance, Lena is kind of fast, has good magic, uh, Rasser is kind of all-around, uh, Gallif is also another kind of all-arounder, and and then our fourth party member will be more like a strength oriented. So that'll affect how we start out our equipment initially. Uh, but we'll talk about that uh, in a little bit uh, once I get to that point. We're kind of railroaded here. We can only head up this way and we're going to head into this cave. But before we head into this cave, I'm going to take a little short break here. And uh, I'm just going to play this little commercial that I made up to uh, celebrate uh, rabbit and small animals rescues and just give you an idea of uh, what they do so I uh, hope you enjoy it here it comes Isn't that sweet? And there's a nice little picture there of a bunny that was uh, out, uh, you know, in a cage outside, not getting the love it needed, and uh, how it was uh, rescued. And we saw another bunny there that was uh, a rescue from the rats, uh, from rabbit and small animal rescues. And how it changed their life. So now, first thing we want to do is uh, old man Gallif. He doesn't have any weapons. That's okay for now. But we want to take off Rasser's uh, sword and give it to Lena, and then pass down the knife that Lena had down to uh, Rasser. We did that because Lena is faster and uh, so she'll get to turn first which means she'll be able to go first and be able to pretty much one shot most of these enemies uh, and then once she can't then uh, Rasser and Gallop, the two slower characters, uh, can kind of gang up. That way we're not wasting attacks. Otherwise what would happen is uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Rasser would go, and then uh, he might take out an en he might take out an enemy, and then I mean uh, Lena would go, not be able to take out an enemy, and then Rasser would take out that same enemy, and we'd be just wasting uh, time doing that. So uh, enemies that are in the rear of the row on the left side, 
uh, because they're in the back row, they have, uh, they take uh, less damage. So, and that also applies to your characters. You can change the rows of your characters. Characters in the back row take uh, half damage, but their attack is also half. So, it's, you know, a give and take, unless they have a special ability that's non-row dependent. So, yeah, if we attack that Steel Bat before we took out the first Steel Bat, and the, uh, the Devil Crab, uh, then uh, we wouldn't have done as much damage to that Steel Bat. No. I'm going to move on to my thing, just move the message speed uh, a little bit faster and the battle speed. The battle mode, there's two different modes, active and wait. Uh, wait means that the enemies will not act while you're inputting a command. Active means that they will uh, continue to uh, do uh, actions while you're uh, choosing commands, which means that, you know, while you're selecting things, they'll still hit you, and uh, that, of course, makes the game a little bit more difficult, so. Right now, I'm just gonna keep it on the wait, so. But these first few levels, uh, these first few areas ain't too much. As you can see, we're pretty much uh, knocking enemies out uh, in, in one hit, so. Fairly simple, and that was basically all the enemies that we can meet in this cave. Um, there's uh, the steel bats, the devil crabs, and the stropers. So, if you're looking to get uh, all the enemies, uh, those are the three enemies that we can meet in this cave. So, yeah, we don't have to watch any more battles. Now, in that little cutscene there, uh, there was a little switch up there to the right. Um, you have to look for them in different caves and stuff, and there are basically buttons. And uh, usually, what they do is you touch the button, you just press it with the A button. And uh, something will happen, usually, like a treasure chest might open, or a door will open, or something like that, so... Be on the lookout, because th those are the ways we're going to find a lot of special treasure. And there's a boat uh, coming into this hideout here, and uh, our characters are really, uh, you know, surprised by that, because uh, the wind is uh, weakening down. Uh, so they're wondering, well, how is that ship sailing without the wind to propel it? So, well, I guess we'll have to find out. So let's head into this cave, finally, and uh-oh, it's a pirate hideout! You see all the skull and crossbones there? Mm -hmm. Luckily, uh, I guess most of the pirates are uh, still on their ship, so... Ooh. So here we go. So they're debating, what should we do? And, uh... Len is thinking, well, maybe we can ask the pirates for a ride, but Gallop, he decides to go the, the more uh, gung-ho route, I guess. And he's like, let's just take their ship. So, well, I guess we're going to go with the old man's plan. Now, there's a button over there to the left on the bottom. That just basically opens the door behind that man who's sleeping. Uh, the door is locked right now, but if we hit that button, it wouldn't matter because that guy is still there uh, in the way. He won't move until later, we can come back to this cave later, and he'll be out of the way so we can collect the treasure then. But for right now, the game wants you to go to the pirate ship, so they block off all the other areas in the cave, and we're forced to walk the gangplank and hop on the pirate ship and take it away. Yo-ho-ho and stuff. Time to cast off. Uh-oh. Looks like Rasser doesn't know what he's doing. Because the ship ain't moving. Hmm. Maybe one of the other ones... Uh-oh. Question mark. That means somebody's coming. Uh-oh. The pirates, they caught us. Now you can tell that pirate's special because... Uh, he has a special sprite. Mm -hmm. Ferris. The pirate captain. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... If you couldn't guess already, uh, Ferris will be our fourth party character, so. And uh, here Lena uh, tells the other people who didn't know in the story that she's really a princess. And of course the pirates are like, ooh, a princess. We can uh, ransom her off for some money. But uh, Rasta and Gallif are like, no, we can't do that. You know, they're going to stand up for her. Now, in other Final Fantasy games, fighting pirates is uh, kind of par for the course. You usually have to fight pirates to get a ship. But on uh, this one, we don't have to fight the pirates because for some reason, uh, Ferris notices Lena's pendant. And 
somehow it strikes a, a memory in her, and so she's just like, eh, put him in jail. So, she says throw him in the brig, but brig is for people on your own side, so. I guess in this instance, the brig would be a jail. So. Look in the mirror, Pops. That's not Pops. That's not my brother, Pops. Yeah, I have, I have, I have a hairless rat brother named Pops. He's, he's, he's my brother from another mother. But we all have the same dad. Mm-hmm. Pops is a rescue, too. Mm-hmm. So that's another reason why I want to do these charities for rescue events, because I'm a rescue rat, like I said in the intro video there. And I know how important it is to, uh, you know, get a good loving home. Because I was once an animal that didn't have a nice loving home. And yes, while the rescue did take care of me, uh, nothing beats, uh, you know, having a good forever home. So, but until animals get that nice forever home, uh, it's important that you uh, support, you know, animal care workers and shelters that uh, take care of us animals until we get a good home. And it looks like Ferris has the same pendant as Princess Lena. Hmm. That's another mystery. Wow, the game's just throwing out a whole bunch of mysteries at us right out of the bat. Why does Ferris and the princess have the same pendant? Why is the wind suddenly stopped? And how is the ship able to move without the wind? Hmm. Well, we're going to get some of those answers, but some of them we won't get until much later into the game, so. But I hope that you uh, continue to follow along uh, up until that point so that uh, you can learn, if you don't know what's going on, you can learn uh, the answer to some of those mysteries. So. But we are going to get an answer to uh, one of the mysteries uh, right here, real quickly, so. We are going to learn how this ship is going to move without the wind. It doesn't look like it has sails, and it's not a steamship, and it doesn't have oars either. How is this ship moving? Yeah, I just asked that, Lana. <laughs> Full of curiosity, yep. Yeah. Here we are, Ferris, tell us. Sildra, what's that? It's like a big uh, water dragon. Yep, so it's like kind of like a dog sled, I guess you can say, or uh, Santa's uh, reindeer sled. So this big uh, water dragon pulls the ship, so. And uh, Ferris says that Sildra uh, and him were basically uh, siblings, so. Sildra uh, is a girl, so. You find that out later, but. But yeah, that's how we uh, the ship is going to move, so. Now we're stuck in this little area, we just have to go north. Uh, the game is nice uh, if you're playing the game for the first time. Uh, this pirate will come and offer to uh, sail you to the wind shrine, so you don't have to get lost. Not that there's a lot of places that you can go right now. You can turn around and go back to the pirate cave, get those treasures. There's a town off to the left, Tool, but you can't really get a lot there. Uh, you can get some equipment. But it's not necessary, so we're just going to head right here to the Wind Shrine, and that's going to pick up in our next episode. We're going to uh, hopefully find out uh, what is causing the wind to stop, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe we can uh, learn some more things. Maybe we can find out what happened to uh, Lena's father, if he's alright, and uh, maybe get some more ministries. So, take care, minions. Have a good one, and... Uh, Say continue to support uh, me and my stream and Rabbit and Small Island Rescues. Here's another commercial. And you too can be a champ by supporting uh, a local charity. I have the link to. Rabbit and Small Island Rescues in the description. Bye!